Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. And we are on the way to the open mic. I have a couple of new joke ideas that I'm thinking about testing out. I'm definitely going to test out a new joke about a car radio song. You guys will see what I'm talking about later. My friend Declan is coming to the show tonight, so I want to do a good job. I'm hoping it goes well. He's going to come watch my comedy show because he ain't got shit to do. You know, he's pretty much a fucking loser with no friends, so I'm glad I can provide him with a little bit of entertainment tonight. And yeah, I just want to put on a good show in front of my boys, in front of my friend Declan. You know? Tonight, I'm going to make a statement. This is a statement, dude. We're going to absolutely murder, and I'm going to gain the respect of all my peers. So, here we go. Yo, we just made it. We just made it to the Rhino. Let's go. I saw my ex-girlfriend sitting out front, bro. We're on band. What? We're on band. Oh, yeah, I'm on band from the comedy club. It's fucking sick. They already know that, dude. What's up, Michael? What up? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh shit. Hell yeah. Oh, Hell oh, yeah. Shit, my bad. Yo, this is Mason. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah, he's never been on the vlog before. But now I am. Yeah. How good is this microphone? It's pretty, it's all right. It's pretty good. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, dude, me and Mason were drinking beers last night. So now we got to bring him on the vlog. <laughs> now we're drinking beers again. <laughs> I, I'm not drinking. This guy's always got one. Dude, I'm always hogging. I'm always slopping down a beer. Oh shit, I gotta go sign up. Bro, here's the theory. If you sign up late, you get a good spot. Because they draw from the top of the cup. That's real, okay, ready? I, I think that's true. Me and Cole are signing up relatively late. I bet 7 30. So if we go up early, then we know. Yeah, we'll circle back next week. It's worked like twice in a row. Alright, guys, I just put my name in the bucket, but I, now I have to go pick up my friend Declan. He just texted me, he's like 10 minutes away. I think he's probably pretty drunk right now. Let's go give him a ride. Bro, I might have to ask Declan to be my cameraman. That would be hilarious. If he just followed me around with the camera. My fucking God, there he is. Look, he's so fucking hammered. He's falling over himself. Oh, he doesn't know. Yep, over here, buddy. Declan! Oh, there we go. Look at this drunk fuck. Oh my god, are you are you bringing that in the car, bro? <laughs> dude, I knew a new whip. I knew you were gonna be hammered, dude. <laughs> You're fucked. Bro, me and Declan were hitting the gym today, arm day. Now he's just throwing it all away. <laughs> Carbs. It's Carb the food pyramid, look it up. <laughs> okay, Declan's gonna be my cameraman. Dude, look. Spongebob and Patrick. It used to say come. You can still kind of see it. Someone covered it up with Spongebob and Patrick. Beautiful sunset. All right, guys, we're going outside. Let's go say hi to everybody. What's up, pussies? <laughs> uh, <laughs> what up? Yeah. Yeah. Universal consensus. <laughs> No way, you have I hired a camera guy. <laughs> Had to film up him, black, him, him dabbing up his only black <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Knuckle pumps for all oh, the white boys. Just give him the fucking handshake, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. This guy's a rapist. Who's a rapist? <laughs> <laughs> Me? Probably. That's, uh, we'll that's all. <laughs> cut that part. <laughs> Guys, I just checked the list. I'm going up number seven. Cole's going up number 24. God damn it. So the strategy worked for me, it did not work for Cole. Has a 50% chance of working. Dude, look at this guy, he's still drinking. <laughs> My God. Tristan. Nope. Can I date your sister yet, bro? I've told you a hundred times, you can absolutely try. Can Nobody you, is stopping you. Can you set me up though? Mm -mm. This might be- You couldn't even try. To <laughs> I can't ask a guy if I can date his sister. <laughs> can, it's an odd approach. What about his dad? Why don't you ask his dad? He already <laughs> dated my sister. When I date your sisters, I don't ask for permission. There you go. See, they, uh, they respect He that just swipes of. left. Sisters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Boom, guys, we did it. All right, so even though I went up early, it was a pretty small crowd, but they were actually nice. They laughed, and my ex-girlfriend was in the room when I started, but then she walked out when I, like, pretty early on in my set. Yeah, it was fun. I opened up by giving my friend Declan a shout-out, and then I started riffing on Declan's name, and it wasn't actually that funny, but for some reason, I couldn't stop. Shout-out to my friend Declan for showing up. It's my number one fan, dude. His name's Declan. A lot of people assume that he's black. My mom is like, is that a black friend? I'm like, no. Sorry to disappoint. And if you, if you try and read it on paper, it's spelled like Declan. So that doesn't help. No, you guys, thanks for coming, Declan. Glad to see you. And then the new joke that I told tonight was about driving and hearing a song on the radio. I was driving today, and I heard this really good song on the radio. And when I was getting into it, like right when I was getting into it, it turned out to be a Febreze commercial. I was like, God damn, dude. Febreze needs to drop a single. They need to get out of this odor removal game, get out of the aerosol game, start DJing. Am I right? Declan. <laughs> Thank you. And, you know, it wasn't that funny. Probably won't tell it again. Maybe if I, maybe I can, like, adjust it. I don't know. And then I told the old micro-penis joke, but I added on a different ending. The best part about having a micro-penis, I like to prank the women. I'll tell them I have a huge cock, take them home, pull down my pants, tiny cock. Hilarious every time. And they get mad about it. They're like, I thought you said you had a huge cock. And I'm like, well, fuck you, bitch. <laughs> you get what you get. You want a scissor? Because that's all we can do. <laughs> and then I told the joke about getting arrested for being naked while walking. I got arrested the other day for doing nothing. I got arrested just for existing as a white, naked man. They threw cuffs on me. They said, you're not allowed to be naked. I was like, oh, it's illegal to be naked? Well, then you should tell your mom, because she was naked when I fucked her, officer. I'm working on a new ending to that joke. I don't know. And then at the end of my set, I had some more time left, but I ran out of jokes. So I started trying to make a joke about finding out that I'm autistic by watching myself on video. Oh, I'm pretty much out of jokes. So I have like this YouTube channel and I've been like watching back myself on camera all the time and I'm, I like finally see myself on video and I'm like, oh my God, why do I sound so stupid? Like this is a crazy way to find out you're mentally challenged. <laughs> you start a vlog and then you're like, no, <laughs> this is what I look like in the world. <laughs> Shit. So I don't know, you know, maybe, maybe it's got some legs. And then I left my sticky note full of jokes on stage, and the next guy was like, what is this? Oh, good. Somebody left their, uh... Oh, no! Hey, you ever have a fucking micro... That was the set tonight, dude. It was great. Shout out to Declan for supporting me. Shout out to you guys for being here. I love you. Tomorrow night, we're going to the Bird Comedy Theater. And there's a couple open mics tomorrow night, so we might go to multiple, but we're for sure going to be going to the bird. I'll see you fuckers there. Thanks for watching. Peace. You've been a wonderful crowd. Thank you, Rhino. Have a great night. Michael Blake, everybody.